Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making a no-bake cheesecake. Like legitimately no-bake cheesecake. You're not even turning on the oven. It's creamy, it's light with a graham cracker crust. Let's get started. So to start your no-bake cheesecake, you're going to need just a handful of ingredients. For the crust, you're going to need graham cracker crumbs. You can make your own by putting graham crackers in a food processor or putting them in a zip top bag and just smashing them to pieces with a rolling pin. I just made them myself in the food processor. You can also buy them in the store in the box, but making them on your own is such a money saver. Three eight ounce bricks of cream cheese, a little bit of sugar, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, lemon, and melted butter. You also just wanna throw in a pinch of salt into your crust. So to start your cheesecake, we're going to add your breadcrumbs, your graham cracker crumbs to the bowl, and then we're also going to pour the butter in, and then our sugar. And you're just gonna mix all of that to combine. You want all of your crumbs to be wet, kind of like sand, like wet sand. And I love making no-bake desserts in the summertime because nothing is worse than having to turn on the oven to 350 degrees for an hour in your house while you're all sweaty. So this is just so simple and so easy to put together. And you can do this a couple ways. You can put your crumbs in the bottom and press them all up on the sides with your hands. I like to use a drinking glass. This is a nine inch springform pan. Just pile them high. It's gonna look like a lot, but it's, it's not. It's gonna be just enough to cover the bottom and the sides of your pan. Spread it out a little bit so it's evenly distributed in the pan. That just makes it a little easier when you start tamping it down. And then just press it down, push out to the edges, and make sure you're evenly pressing down. So now that we have our crust all ready to go, we need it to set. And normally for a regular New York style cheesecake, you're going to bake your crust. For this one, we're going to freeze it. So now we're ready to make the filling. And we're just gonna take our three bricks of cream cheese. I am using full fat cream cheese here, but if you wanna shave off some calories, you can definitely use a lower fat cream cheese for this because you're not baking it. You don't really have to worry about it getting weird during the baking process. So definitely substitute maybe one brick for a lower calorie or lower fat cream cheese here. The last one. So we're not gonna add any sugar, granulated sugar, anything here. We're using a whole can of sweetened condensed milk. So sweetened condensed milk is a dairy product and it has a lot of sugar in it and it's thick and syrupy and it's a great replacement for sugar in a lot of no-bake recipes. So I'm gonna put the whole can in and we're gonna put in some vanilla. So I like to use vanilla bean paste, but if you can't find vanilla bean paste, regular vanilla extract will work here as well. And so vanilla bean paste is a little more concentrated and it has some beautiful flecks from the vanilla bean in it. It just looks really pretty when you cut a slice. You can see all of the vanilla in there. And then we're gonna use the zest and juice of one lemon. So if you have smaller lemons like I do here, you can definitely use both. If you really don't like a lot of lemon flavor in your desserts, then just go with a little less. But you need the lemon to kind of cut the sweetness of the sweetened condensed milk a little bit. And one little tip, if you have a lemon that's been in the refrigerator and it's a little tight and it's hard to juice, you can pop it in the microwave before you cut it. Put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and that'll loosen everything up and it'll squeeze just beautifully. 
and then catch any seeds that may pop out. So now that we have all the ingredients in the food processor, we're just going to puree it all together until it's smooth. And that's it, our filling's all done. So we'll take off the top. Check it out. It's creamy and smooth. And everything's really well incorporated. So now that our crust has been chilling in the freezer for 15 minutes, we are all set. So now we're just going to pour our filling into the crust. And I just pour it all in and then I spread it out. So if you have any cream cheese pieces that are stuck to the side, they might get in there too, but I just try to like work them down to the bottom. Nobody knows. Anything left in there you can eat with a spoon. I won't tell anyone. And then just spread it out evenly into the crust. Did I say how easy this is yet? Super, super simple. So now you're just gonna pop this in the refrigerator for four hours or even better, overnight. This is a great make-ahead dessert for any type of gathering. Winter, spring, summer, fall. This is what you wanna make like stress-free ahead of time. My cheesecake is now out of the fridge, so this has been in the refrigerator overnight. And we're just gonna release the sides of the springform pan. And they should pop right off, just like that. And my sides are up a little high, and that's okay, some of that'll crumble off, and it's still good eats, so I have this candy cake lifter. This is great for layer cakes and cheesecake. So I'm going to try to transfer it to my cake plate to make it all pretty. And then you just slide it onto your cake plate. You can get these on Amazon, by the way. They are very handy. Now we can decorate the top. So you can just leave it as is, or you can decorate it. I like to add some blueberries and then some fresh strawberries. This is great for like a patriotic holiday. So like 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Bastille Day. You can really make this pretty festive. This is also great with like a strawberry puree. You can get the strawberry puree recipe on my website where you can add chocolate sauce or hot fudge. Just put a couple of strawberries on the top. Just a little bit of sprinkle of powdered sugar. Make sure my lid's on tight so the whole thing doesn't go flying. And there you go. There is your no-bake cheesecake. So I'm gonna take a slice and start eating. Oops, I lost the tip. And there you go. A tipless no-bake cheesecake. I'm going in. I cannot wait. Mm. It's sweet and rich, but not overly so. Little hints of vanilla, and you can taste that lemon. Kind of cut the sweetness a little bit. Simple and fantastic. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For even more recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.